house so you know that a banger Money from a broad, nothing like Miss Dana Some of them are real food, but I want like a scam Then you see them on the ground But the only ground me know where the money come from oh. Wagwan well, people, we there again with your next video, is it me? And the song that one here, done by CMR As when you supposed to hear the verse already Only you can check out the full song on YouTube, is it me? Just type in CMR, Uzo Dung, on a seat Check out the full song In the song there, CMR, I teach a man them where I sing the chap song them He might teach them to sing the song better because enough man a sing chap song and them a sing foolishness and me agree upon that nowadays a man feel like see how he have sing a chap song for boss and even though he must sing a chap song for boss the song no good so all the man them way want to sing chap song them need to listen to the song here so i'm going to be subscribers so check out the song it means good to dung by cmr intense in a spotlight again via subscribers and if in a spotlight again for something positive or something good right now intense seem to be the main topic for dancer right now comment below and tell me if one agree with on that intense last four song when release got number one intense japa song when he am intense verse tashan and in a song there he didn't say yo he might carry dance all on him back many people say yo i wonder if he might tell the truth because that our um, very bold statement in a song of young subscribers intense are question himself if he should have released song this often people only need to check out the song here the song here is like intense now and in personal self so it's like the two of them have a conversation intense say yo he have release song often because you know and nobody else can take in space and me can agree with that because dancehall is a very competitive genre so if i now release song often i'm gonna say yo you drop off or not now go on for you you see other three songs them view and subscribers are all that you know and who them them three songs they go number one intense a dancer main topic right now because they must say yo you might buy views and all that intense say him a public enemy number one and me agree with him on that because if you come out and don't say gaza a man will beat you so intense i get a beat no because him don't say gaza and also him not give vice cartel the respect when supposed to get but in the public enemy number one intense say when cartel give him the respect then he will give back vice cartel the respect when supposed to get intense four last song when job got number one and on a famous yo intense go against like vibes cartel skilly bang massacre and many more talent and for your last four song got number one back to back that are something good people only need to check out this song brings a lawsuit against them one one cancer yes sir welcome back to our stage sir thanks for having me i feel like a resident now i feel like i should start getting paid to be here <laughs> so thank you meeting us what was your immediate reaction mm -hmm. when you heard that you must apologize or face legal action well immediately i knew when for that there was nothing for me to apolog apologize for because i've done nothing wrong so you did nothing? I've you didn't? done nothing wrong, so I don't know what I would apologize for. People are saying I should not have gone public with this issue. They are saying Miss Kitty did not do anything to offend me. But my presenting of my engagement with Miss Kitty was in fact a response to what Miss Kitty was saying about me because she was on air on our national airwaves saying that women should avoid me she was on our national airwaves saying that when a woman see me on one side of the road if i see a woman the woman must walk on the other side of the road she said she ate nine and ten me she didn't call me by my name you know but she called me by my description she said brockman and i am a brockman so I'm speaking up for all the broke men out there on this issue. Broke men, we still need women, right? And I'm speaking up for all the ladies out there. I'm saying to the ladies, don't follow Miss Kitty. It is sad that our society has now reached to a place where someone can be using our national airwaves to advocate for gold digging, to tell women that what they should do is go for rich men so if you see a man and you like him and him not rich forget him he must he must go sit on one side you know the sort of thing work you're now forcing a man now to go do some wrongs so him have money to impress a woman you understand what i'm saying okay. and what this is leading to winford is that what it is what it is really it is looking down on poor people when you say oh i'm not a broke man broke man forgot this and broke man 
it is it is looking down on poor people because you make some little headway. You all tell me, say, because me poor. Me no work no. But are you sure she wasn't say, no, people, saying men, that in men, jest? Men, men, your self-worth is not determined by how much money you have, how much material things you have. Don't feel less of a person because you don't have money. Don't feel like, say, boy, you're not worthy. For Already men are afraid to approach women. And now if I feel like, boy, <laughs> I have nothing for offer, so I don't feel approach women. You can't operate like that. Can, can yes. I take a question? Yeah. Did you actually date Miss Kitty? Without a doubt. Well, we, we went out twice. Hmm. We went out twice. Once, when the initial introduction was made by someone else, because I was, I was set up with Miss Kitty by someone. And all three of us went to a party at Peppers. Mm. And then the following day, we went back, me and her alone. And that is, that is irrefutable, right? And um, everything, that I said, everything that I said is true and accurate. And, and they have defamed me by circulating a letter that says I'm a liar, mm. that says I concocted the entire story. No, that is defamation. <laughs> That is defamation. So, 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 so we we'll see where we go from here. What they're claiming to be defamatory is actually not. Nothing in the article that came out on the website is defamatory. Not one single word, right? It is true. It is true. It is accurate. I'm not an idiot. I'm not stupid. I'm not a dishonest person. I'm not a liar. Okay. I want to make that abundantly clear. So you don't think that you defamed her? Not in the least. What, what's in, defamatory? What, 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 what? Listen, it might become a legal matter, so I don't really want to go into it too much, right? But what I'm prepared to say, what I'm prepared to say, yeah. I'm going to have to put in a defense, but then I would have to sue them for defaming me. And there's no question that they have defamed me in that letter that was circulated here and abroad. Right? There is no question about that. They said I concocted the story. They say I'm a liar. And the letter, that letter, it, the, the way the letter was constructed, it wasn't constructed from a purely legal perspective. There's a lot of emotion in it. it, it like it came from an emotional place, you know? It was not very purely professional. Yes. So, so, so something is wrong. Yes, but why did you feel the need to to go public, public with all of that, even right. if Good question. You, were, you were dating her. Yes. Or